Hello, 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 and welcome to another flight on X Plane. And today we are sitting in Baltimore, Washington Airport. And this is a beautiful view from inside the terminal uh, overlooking out to our aircraft. Today we are flying the Southwest uh, Boeing 737-800. Uh, it's a little bit dark, so you can't really see much. So uh, let's jump into the cockpit and uh, get this flight going. Alright, we have 15 tons of fuel loaded, so we can turn on the seat belts now. Uh, we can turn on the fuel pump as well. We have uh, center fuel, so turn that on. Uh, turn on the seat belts on self loading cargo. And we can start the APU. Today we are climbing to 380, so let's set that there. Uh, our landing altitude in uh, LAX is 128 feet, so that will be 150. Uh, and everything else is um, good. Radio, our CG is 197. That will be uh, 575 on the trim. about there right B1138 rotate 140 B2149 our course for um, takeoff is 155 on runway 15 right And our initial climb is going to be uh, 11,000. All right, let's uh, see where we have to push back. Uh, one five right. So we have to face left. Alright, so if we go to here, about there is good. All right. And cabin is loaded. Get the uh, tuck. You can turn on the collision lights. Alright, palm our hydraulics. Okay, aircraft, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the aircraft. My name is Steve, 
I'm your private this evening, uh, along with first officer Davidson and your senior flight attendant Alana, who with the rest of the crew will shortly be making our way around the cabin. Make sure you're comfortable and ready to get us on our way. We're not actually anticipating anything else, so we should be arriving on time at our destination. The guys on the ground have just finished most of the final bits of luggage into the aircraft, so we should be on our way very shortly. We are just waiting to receive pushback and taxi clearance uh, before we can start moving towards the runway. But if you could help the cabin crew by getting yourself so comfortably with seatbelts fastened, that would be fantastic. In the meantime, uh, once airborne, we'll be starting our flight service. We'll start our flight service in the private and we'll enjoy the flight All right, we are ready put to push. Everything else uh, is looking good. Let's go, brakes off. Looks like we are clear. Let's uh, start number number two. Uh, dark pressure is good. Starting number two. All right, we are. Fan two. We have EGT N one, and we have uh, oil pressure. Start off, cut off, clear left, start number one. Alright, we are fan to EGT N1. Oil pressure. Start valve cut off and uh, ground can disconnect. All right, APU can come off. Thank you. And ground is clear.
Rather four left. Four right. I uh, feel our rudder is a little bit off. I uh, just need to reset my um, rudder. So I'll just pull that a little bit more towards there. I think that's a bit better. All right, uh, let's go to TA and breaks off. Flight control check, elevator full up, full down, full left, full right. Alright, flaps 5 Before takeoff check, config Flaps 5 green just make sure that we don't run off on the taxiway. Um, trim, we have 575. Take off brief, cabin will be secure soon. MCP, we have. Um, okay, we can do LNAV. Transponder can go TRA. And cabin is secure. Strobe light is on. And we can turn on the um, window and prop it. Landing lights will be coming on soon. Approach is clear, nothing on the T cast. Approaching one, one five, five right. right. One five right identified. Landing lights on. Packs off. All right, off we go. On runway. One five right.
Elnaf, Troddle Holt, and Toga. We have some left crosswind, so just uh, keep going a bit more to the left. 15 degrees nose up is fine. And N1. Now we just have to reduce it to about 10 degrees and uh, get our speed up. Laps two. Laps one. Laps up. Or the pilot and we can turn off the lights weather seems to be clear so we can um, put the engines to auto turn on the packs Alright, passing 10,000 lights off. Check. After takeoff checklist, um, air conditioning is on auto, pressure is 4.2. Engine start switches auto. Landing gear is off and no lights. Flaps up, no lights. Auto brakes off. Alright, we can um, set our altitude to um, our cruising, which is 380. 
just to check that we can climb to uh, 380 that's fine optimal is uh, 379 max is 392 so we are good on uh, on there I'm not sure why our field is zero at LAX I did my field calculations on sim brief and it's usually accurate not too sure why uh, hopefully we will have enough fuel when we get to LAX we have some uh, headwind over here it's not very strong now but as we climb further up it's going to get uh, quite strong oh we forgot to switch over to uh, VNAV Let's go VNAV and uh, parameter to standard and that is it. I'm not sure why the lights uh, shine to the wrong place now because it used to shine over, uh, over at the checklist here but yeah I think they adjusted it to the chair. Alright, just double check on our uh, speed, so climb speed to 85 mark decimal 755, uh, cruise will be 287 mark decimal 757, uh, I'll actually make that a bit higher, let's say mark 78. Alright, as per usual, I will be um, leaving you here as we are cruising. Uh, they are looking for Escobar now. Right, um, yes, we are going to leave it here and uh, I'll come back when we get a bit closer to LAX and uh, we can do an approach brief for LAX so I'll see you uh, in a couple of seconds alright um, welcome back and we are about 75-74 miles away from our top of descent uh, so let's go ahead and put in our descent forecast that will give us a more accurate um, descent, top of descent. So our ISA deviation is 9 degrees. QNH right now is 1075. Oh no, sorry. Uh, 1007. That's what I mean. And then we have temperature at uh, flight level 300, 200, and 10,000. So at 300, we have 210 at 50 knots. 200, we have 160 at 16 knots. 100, we have 270 at 9 knots. So our descent path is now a little bit closer. So we are 50, 50 miles away from our top of descent. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the cabin lights. Actually haven't set any uh, camera view for the cabin. So let's go to the back and uh, set the camera view. So this is the newest update uh, of Zebo. Can't really see the engines. Uh, I'll just turn on the lights. 
the ring light uh, so this is the 3.43 version if you would like to know oh that's loud oh Jesus all right uh, all right maybe the second one over here I think that's good enough. Right, there we go. That's all set. So that we can have some uh, window view if we have time. Uh, just go ahead and close that door. Alright, we are 30 miles away. I have already turned off the top of the sand poles. So I'll just double check that. Yep, that's off. Uh, right, let's do our performance landing. Runway 25 left. Runway condition is dry, no wind, uh, 10 centigrade miles of uh, visibility, few clouds at 800. Temperature is uh, 23, 0 0.20. I'll we'll just put 20. Quinage 101, uh, 1007 decimal 5. And there is no required brakes all. Right, that's all good. So I'm assuming we would be probably about 55, 56 tons at landing. So just put 56 for now. So auto brake. Uh, let me have a look which taxiway should we vacate. So two five left. Hopefully we can vacate like in the middle because we have to taxi to the other side of the terminal. So if we can vacate by hotel six, hotel seven, that would be great. That would be sort of uh, halfway down the runway. Uh, so there will be about 1,600 meters, so auto brake 3 should do it. Right, 18 miles away. I'll actually just speed it up because uh, I'll have to go soon. I'm making uh, making dinner tonight, so yeah. Right, two five left. iOS uh, frequency is one zero nine a decimal niner. One zero nine a niner. Set. One zero nine nine set. VOR is uh, one one three decimal six. And 
and we have no um, ADF and uh, reset. Oh, not yet, but we should be soon resetting our MCP. Right, um, we can just descend on to 1.7 for now. Alright, reset MCP. Auto break to 3. I think that's all we need to do for now. Alright, we should be descending now. Final approach course is 251. So, 251. Just uh, double check over here because it. Oh, gee. What did I do? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, autopilot. Sorry. Uh, I think I accidentally moved the um, trim. Uh, 251, yep, that's a uh, check. And the localizer identification is India Lima Alpha X ray, and that is um, checked, cross checked. 251, cross check on both sides. Misapproach, climb 2000 on runway heading until crossing the uh, Santa Monica VOR at uh, radio 160, then make a left turn um, on heading off to 36 and outbound on uh, Santa Monica VOR at radio 195 to Katy um, and uh, intercept the uh, Santa Monica VOR at DME 15.7 We'll just follow the uh, FMC here The MSA is uh, 4200 But our misapproach Climb is uh, only 2000, so we will be going over the water, so that's fine. But coming back, we will have to um, probably make it a bit shorter because we have some terrains uh, a little bit further inland. All right, iOS. Uh, Minimums is 304. Oh, too much. 304. Alright, descent checklist pressure, we have 150 on the landing altitude, NTI is not required, uh, approach brief, we have done that few, we have 2.1 um, 2 plus 2.1, that's 4.2, about 4.3, uh, which is more than sufficient, 
uh, by the time we get to LAX we expect about 4 tons of fuel uh, speed box so we have uh, 138 plus 5 over here so we should have about uh, 142 approach checklist um, our instruments are all set we have iOS 1099 uh, BOR 113.6 and a course of 251 minimums is uh, one, uh, 304 So that is done. Alright, we are all good. We just uh, keep coming down. We are about to approach 17,000. I'll just continue it down to uh, 10,000 here. We might be a little bit heavier than uh, 56 tons. Right, our frame rate is a little bit low now. I think it's because of um, all of the clouds over here. Um, because of the fire, I believe. Uh, the smoke is quite heavy around here. But they should be uh, quite high up anyway. We only expect a few clouds at uh, 800, so we definitely can break through it uh, before our minimums. Alright, our frame rates are back. maybe not really we are still running pretty low so I'll just um, take it out of the uh, same speed there I think we'll have to uh, go under the clouds to get a better frame rate the Zebo has been uh, I think it has been a quite a um, quite a heavy frame eater since the last few updates uh, last few updates I've flown the like the A320 and the um, the other ones like the 777 and I get pretty good frame rates so yeah I just think it's the uh, the Zebo aircraft that's eating up quite a bit of frame rates there but that's alright uh, we are about to approach transition altimeter to 976 976 and cross track We have some terrain just off to our right over here. Altimeter setting. Check.
my passengers are not very happy for some reason. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why self-loading cargo the the meal uh, button doesn't work. So they are all going starving. Um, I'll just give them some water. That should make them a little bit happier. Yeah, not too sure why the uh, the meal doesn't work. Maybe I have to uh, change the settings. Alright, so we expect to cross crane at uh, one one zero thousand, and then we will be descending on the uh, on the final, the long final. Actually, I'll just go crane at ten thousand. Don't really want to get too high. And we have a steep descent of the gate. But we should be on the iOS anyway. Alright, what's our weight looking like? Uh, we are at 56.8 So I'll just adjust it to 56.6 Just we can get a more accurate speed We are still at 143, flaps 30 Alright, continue descent now I'll just put it down to um, 5000 and we can switch on the lights I can't really see but I'll turn on the lights there uh, we can turn those on and the rest looks good Alright, we are turning towards the final now. We should um, get the iOS frequency uh, captured pretty soon.
Oh, we are back into the clouds. Uh, not sure why we are not descending. Oh, there we go. Don't really want to get too high. Uh, let's go gate at 5000 so that we don't get too high. At gate, we actually will slow down to uh, 200 knots, just so we don't uh, get too fast. Not sure why we are on a dive now. Uh, just go to level change. Alright, we have the iOS frequency now. We are just under the glide slope, so that's good. Alright, let's go approach. Bells and go. And we have runway in sight. Let's uh, inform cabin crew to take their seats. And we can turn on the lights. Recall checked. Speed brake armed. Start switches continuous. Glide slope is on standby and we have glide slope, Vorlock, MCP speed. We are still quite far away so we'll just keep the speed up for now. Let's go to 30 so we don't get too fast.
all right go around altitude is 2000 set the speed is a little bit high that's actually bringing some speed brakes and uh, bring it to speed up I um, mean flaps up speed little bit of wind there but uh, we have wind calm so should not expect any wind nope we are back into the clouds all right just turn off the cabin lights there Right, we still have our speed brakes. Seems like we are kind of struggling to slow down. Let's go flaps one. That will um, help us to slow down. Flaps one set, flaps two, and flaps five. Let's go gear down. Trying to aim the uh, the circle with the runway. It's never easy. Uh, no, nah, it doesn't want to do it. Flaps ten. Flaps 15 and speed break up. Get on triggering. I uh, can't see the checklist. Uh, why are we deviating? Why are we going there? Not sure what happened there. Alright, let's go flap study. Still a bit high. Approaching two five. Alright, I'll take manual control and um, yeah, I'll talk to you all when we get back to the ground.
try to welcome to LAX. Yeah, not too sure what happened with the iOS there. See where we are going. Oh, can't get the map. All right, need to uh, do that. Go to KLAX. There we go. Right, so we will take this right and then uh, cross to five right. Clear left, clear right. Approaching zero seven left. Clear right, clear left. We we'll actually take the next one. Forgot to turn off the lighting light. Right, we'll take the next right over here. Clear left, clear right. Let's uh, put transponder back to TA. And we can start the APU. Right, clear left, clear right. We'll make a right turn here. And we are parking at Terminal 1, which is on the, uh, at the very far end there. Right, we have APU. I'll switch the right side to the um, to the APU, and then we can shut off number two. I feel like the lights are very dim. Maybe it's my uh, graphic settings, I'll have to uh, double check that. Alright, uh, not this one but the next one, we are parking um, near this side over here so it's not too far away we can see some southwest there oh, maybe some have taken the stand actually I'll just take this one over here might be easier um, 
how do we get in though? Is it okay? I see it. One eight alpha. A bit short. Uh, there we go. Park bike off, engines off, and that's all done. Welcome to LAX. Alright, let's uh, turn those off. Alright, I'm gonna go and make dinner now, but um, I'll come back to do the replay a little bit later, but for you guys it's going to be just a few seconds. Alright, I am back after a uh, wonderful dinner. Let's now have a look at the landing. Right. Yeah, that was not too bad. We were off the center line a little bit there. That looks pretty smooth to me. Right, if you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up, that will be very much appreciated. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any feedback, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I do read every one of the comments, and uh, with any questions, I'll try my best to help out. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I do post content uh, pretty regularly on uh, both x -Plane and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. If you want to watch um, some of the uh, either ones of x -Plane or Microsoft, I um, have playlists for both of uh, those sim, so you can check those out on um, yeah on my playlist. I do live uh, live streams as well, so you can. Um, check those out 
and uh, yeah, follow my Patreon if you would like to see like aviation and flight sim contents. Uh, the link is on the bottom right corner of the screen and on the description. If uh, you enjoy my content and you would like to support me, I do do this um, pretty much. Um, well, this is pretty much my job. So um, I would really appreciate for any support. By uh, you can show your support by uh, joining my Patreons. And uh, once I get a few people over there, I will um, start putting up some. Uh, more perks and I'll probably be uploading um, on Patreons before um, it's on YouTube so you can get early access. And if you enjoy um, reviews for travel stuff, so like uh, airline reviews, hotel reviews, um, I do have my own uh, website called notanother.travel. Um, the link will be on end screen and on description uh, if you would like to check that out. Uh, you can do that and yeah, share it to your family, your friends who may be interested in flying uh, I mean like uh, traveling they might want to um, you know uh, see the quality of different airlines different products um, I do have a variety of um, articles there and uh, travel tips and uh, all those good stuff so um, definitely go check that out but other than that, that is uh, all from this flight. I hope you uh, enjoy it and uh, I will see you all on the next video.